1,000 years before Christ came to earth, King David prophesied that the Messiah would be scorned by mankind and despised by the people. The people would deride and sneer at him, or as one translation says, they would shoot out the lip at the Lord. Isaiah prophesied that Jesus would be despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Sure enough, when Jesus stepped out of heaven to offer salvation to the sin-stained, broken souls of humanity, He came to His own, and His own did not receive Him. Jesus knew before He ever came to earth that most people would either hate Him or care nothing for Him. He knew He was coming into a chaotic cancel culture, yet He still came for the purpose of saving souls. Jesus came to a people who would go so far to cancel Him that they would brutally crucify Him. Yet Jesus responded with love, open arms, and a forgiving spirit. Jesus communicated love from the cross to the very end. We don't hear Him saying, I'm going to get you for this, but Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. He showed concern for others, including for the penitent thief dying next to Him. Before Jesus' crucifixion, His invitation was open. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Ever since His crucifixion and resurrection, His invitation for anyone to receive eternal life has remained open. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let him who hears say, Come, and let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. This same Jesus said, Go into all the world, even to cancel culture, and preach the gospel to every creature. Don't withdraw from cancel culture and allow your light to go dim. Rather, even in, yes, especially in a dark world, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. As Peter said, always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. And let's do what Paul instructed Timothy. Avoid foolish and ignorant disputes, knowing that they generate strife. A servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, able to teach, patient in humility, correcting those who are in opposition, if God perhaps will grant them repentance, so that they may know the truth, and that they may come to their senses and escape the snare of the devil, having been taken captive by him to do his will. The answer to cancel culture's irrationality is simple logic. The answer to the world's error is truth. The answer to fomented hate is the Lord's love. The answer to sin's enslavement is the eternal freedom graciously offered by the Savior. The answer to the world's fear and despair is the real hope of eternal life freely offered in Christ Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life.